Now I'm going to set my uh, Dacron. This is what's called Dacron. Poly bonded Dacron. And um, this is the same stuff you would uh, Dacron wrap a seat cushion in. If you take the foam and you'd wrap it. Uh, we're using the same stuff. Now this is half inch Dacron and I'm doubling it so I have one inch. Um, and you can buy one inch Dacron. It's just that I use the same stuff to also Dacron wrap the seat cushions and foam cushions. So um, I just double it when I need to make it an upholstered cornice. So I put this down. Then I'm going to take my cornice. I'm going to put this face down on top. And then I'm going to go ahead and just staple the returns, stretching it slightly. the other side, just giving it a light stretch. Now as I'm doing this, I'm trying to push down the padding just a little bit. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and trim this off excess. You always want excess. You always want to trim it off. You don't want to cut something just right. That's why I've got it about an inch or so bigger all the way around it. And the way I do it is, you see where this edge right is here? I just take my scissor, I put it up to it. And basically I'm using the return as, the, um, as my guide. I cut it off on that side. I'm going to go ahead and cut it off on this side. Same method. The next step is I like to I like to staple my top first. Then go ahead and go to the bottom. It's just my method. Um, you can find a different method. This is just how I do it. I also like pushing the padding down a little bit as I do it. I'm staying about an eighth to a quarter inches away from the top. Also stapling around the returns. And then along my bottom, and this I am pulling a little bit so I can see my edge. I know where my edge is. I'm go ahead and staple. The same, about a quarter inch away, eighth of inch, anything like that. Finding exactly where the little steps are.
Okay, now you can see the outline all the way around it exactly what it looks like. I'm going to use the same method with cutting it out. I'm using the top of the desk board as the uh, straight edge. Just like using a table, the straight edge of your table. Pretty much so you're using the board. I gotta secure this top part of this return right here. Top done, moving down to the bottom. You find, might find a different technique. That's fine. Everybody has different ways to do it. Do it the way you feel more comfortable. You don't have to go exactly the way I'm doing it. Try to keep this as close to the wood as you can. But you don't want the padding to run over. Because if the padding runs over, when you're upholstering it, it's going to leave bumps. So try to keep this nice and even. I'm going to put this to the side. 